What's going on, y'all? So I saw an interesting uh, debate topic floating around online. And to be honest, it probably shouldn't even have been a debate topic. Anywho, a dude asked the question that should a woman be allowed to cut off sex completely in every form from her man whenever she's on her period? So hopefully for obvious reason, you see why I don't think this should even be a debate topic. Like, let's just say a woman isn't allowed to cut off sex completely, completely from her man. I think there's a word for whenever we tell a woman she is not allowed to deny us sexual or otherwise access to her body. Uh, rapey is what comes to mind but let's say that's drastic that's extreme the dude really you know just didn't word his question correctly it's the concept of compromise in a relationship that's confusing him because yeah we do expect some compromise in a relationship all right so speaking strictly as a man yes a woman should be able to give you some kind of sexual pleasure some kind of sexual satisfaction even if she's on her period fuck how she feels but we're not speaking strictly as a man we're speaking as a man who's in a relationship as in a partnership with a woman who does have feelings, who does have moods, who does have comfort zones, who does have desires of her own that may be even heightened by giving you some kind of sexual satisfaction just for her to be unfulfilled. All right. So if a woman is just not compromising at all in any part of the relationship, you know, in any aspect and making sure you good, that's a whole different conversation. <clears throat> but if she's selfless normally, if she normally makes sure you straight, you know what I mean? If she normally goes out her way, I think during her menstrual is a good time to allow her to be selfish with her body. You dig what I'm saying? But also, if your girl is selfless normally, then why not ask yourself how bad could she possibly be feeling to not want to do anything for me when she's typically, you know, in her characters to make sure I'm good? Like, we don't experience a menstrual, so we don't know what a woman is feeling. So we can't dictate and say that a woman should remain functional no matter what based on the fact that our dick is hard. Well, guess what? Her vagina is bleeding and there are other things going on. You dig what I'm saying? And I saw one dude in the comment section saying, well, shit, you know, if my girl don't give me sex or something, she don't give me head and something, I'm cheating. One, I hope she leaves his ass. But two, that's also why I think it's a good idea for brothers to practice a little bit more self-control. You know what I mean? For for a woman, we call this slut shaming or whatever. You know, and for guys, they say, oh, we get this free pass. Well, I don't think it should go either way. I think we all should have some level of self-control before we even get into a serious relationship. Even if you have, you know, your thotomish prime phase where you just fuck everything moving. At some point, you should practice self-control because what's going to happen is, especially as a man, you're going to get to fucking so many different girls. And then you settle down with one and have the expectations of so many different girls in that one woman. And then she's going to be in the wrong if she don't, if, if she's not seven girls, if she's not bionic, if she's not, you know, just pussy on tap waiting for you to, you know, get horny enough to ask her for sex. Then she's doing something wrong. And then we have this mindset that, oh, we should be able to just cheat or whatever. What we're doing is we're removing a woman's ability to be human. A woman's ability to, you know, to want to feel sexy whenever she does have sex. We want it when we want it. Fuck how she feel. And not to mention, you know, we have times where we don't even want to talk, much less fuck. You know, when the game is on, we in game mode. We, we watching the game. When we playing the video game, we in 2K mode or Call of Duty mode. When we get off work, we're too tired to have long conversations or answer serious questions. We're in, you know what I mean? We, we're in sleep mode. We're in rest mode. But when a woman has a biological design where she's really not in the mood to have sex or do anything sexual whatsoever, even if it's just a couple of minutes, we feel slighted. No, I think the first step should be asking yourself, what is it that has her feeling so bad that she doesn't want to do anything? And how can I ease that discomfort? How can I ease that discomfort? Even when there's not sex on the other side of it for me, I think that will be the only thing that will make a man even somewhat deserving of a woman going over and beyond to make sure he's good and satisfied is if he's at least considerate of the way that she feels. So, you know, should a woman be allowed to cut a man completely off from sex when she's on her period? Uh, yeah, absolutely. That's my answer. Y'all tell me what you think. Peace.